Twin toddlers died after they were found in the swimming pool of their child care provider in West Knox County. Back in May, the state ordered that owner to stop operating, meaning she was forbidden from caring for more than four unrelated children at any one time. The Department of Human Services received three complaints against Jennifer Sally in January, March and May. The complaint said she was caring for more children than allowed at her home without a child care center license. And that is a class A misdemeanor in Tennessee to care for more than four unrelated children without a license. The department investigated each complaint and discovered a violation in May. On May 9th, child care program evaluators visited the home. Inside, they found eight unrelated children. Two were unsupervised in two bedrooms, both with the doors closed. And on May 17th, the state issued an injunction against Jennifer Sally, ordering her to cease operations. To read the full complaint, head to WBIR.com. A department spokesperson says Jennifer Sally was not violating the injunction when the drownings happened. Tonight, we're exploring the state rules governing daycares in Tennessee. The Department of Human Services lays out some specific guidelines for running a child care facility and how that differs from a babysitter. 10 News anchor Brandon Bates joins us now with the story. Brandon. Well, Robin and John, tonight we're talking to a daycare about what it takes exactly to run one successfully, and we're breaking down resources from DHS. Take a look. If you have kids, you know that finding affordable and quality child care can be a process. According to the Tennessee Department of Human Services, it's illegal in Tennessee to keep more than four unrelated children in a home for more than three hours without a license. You want to make sure that the facility you're taking your child to is a great facility, that they're taking care of your children to the best um, of their abilities. Michelle Presley has a license and owns Little Miracles Child Care. She says it is a process to open and run a child care facility, but she knows it's necessary. I think it's pivotal that you have someone come in and keep you accountable for what you're doing. DHS licenses four types of child care facilities, and it all depends on the amount of children. They're inspected several times a year. Many times they come in unannounced, and the frequency of visits depends on their star system rating. The purpose of the star system is to really help um, child care to be the best they can possibly be with your children. Each licensed child care center is graded by a star rating system. But we've been three stars for the past 10 years. The more stars, the better, three being the best. It has so many ranges of things. Okay. It's not it's not just cleanliness. It's like um, how you conduct yourself with the children, how you help them to respond to problem solving, how um, what type of toys you have. And if you're still unsure if your child's daycare is running legally, they're required to post their license and the child care report card where parents can see them. And with over 250 child care agencies just in Knox County, the easiest way to find a high quality daycare near you is to use this interactive map from the Department of Human Services. Here you can type in the street, the cross street, and see what is closest to you. Also, you can look at that star rating to see if it's a one two or a level three. We'll send it back to you. Great resource, Brandon. Thank you. Well, state law says all pools built after 2011 must have pool alarms installed. They detect vibration in the water and then set off an alarm. The sheriff's office says Jennifer Sally's pool did not have an alarm. Enforcing the law in Knoxville is left up to the building permit and inspections office during pool construction. We understand that our role is to help ensure life safety. Um, for the public, and so that's definitely a key feature. The city's job is to make sure the alarm is installed per the manufacturer's instructions and is operational. For more information on how to keep kids safe in and around the water, just head to our website. There we have tips from swimming instructors on teaching kids of different ages how to swim. All that at WBIR.com.